So whenever I'm making cartoons, I know that I could probably be making a cartoon right now instead of sitting here and talking about it. And that's the thing is I kind of got into making talk videos and jumping on camera. I really started to enjoy it. And I think you can do a lot of it before you kind of get burnt out on it because you, you can talk about so many different things and everybody does their own. Everybody does it in their own way. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, so for me, um, making cartoons, I was trying to make talk about making, making cartoons in this. Um, so I've done some very high end routines. Okay. What am I talking about? Well, you, 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 you create a show, you know, and you write it out, you animate it, you do everything, music, transitions, you know, you need some real, you need a real writing backbone, you know, and to be able to do that drama, you know, it, it's, it's like, just because you already learned something in life doesn't mean other people have. So putting stuff into episodes and stuff might be relevant to other people, but not really like, you know what I'm saying? Like you might be done with that kind of stuff, but it could still like be helpful to other people or they might be interested in it. So if you could do it in a, in a way, um, and so that's part of the whole writing. But I mean, like, as far as like doing cartoons the right way, you know, like some of the ones you see on TV where they, you know, they have they have a point. Um, and some, but sometimes, it, you know, like it, it, there can be no point. But there's a lot of different styles and there's a lot of ways to do it. But like um, the, the way that a lot of them have been doing it is you run two different stories at once and then you do one story and then you switch to the other one because it keeps your, you, you'll get bored less of the one story when you switch to another story. Um, and a lot of people, a lot, a lot of them have this structure. I don't know if it, that's because it's new or what, but it's like what the family shows, that's what they do. And, um, I guess, um, I, uh, so I've noticed these kind of structures and I wanted to produce a show for a network and you know, I don't know, like that's the, that's your best bet. But like, I don't want to live in Hollywood and then you got to work with other people and there's a whole lot of stuff that goes into that. And, you know, I just, for me, it's like, I'm not really the Hollywood type of person. I'm more independent and I, I do need to be able to take advantage of other people, but what, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying not to, well, I mean, work with other people is what I meant to say, not take advantage, but you, you can get an advantage of, you know, working with other people. Definitely. Um, which basically part of, part of making cartoons, I started to see that almost, you know, being an independent can just be so hard, you know, it's so hard. You know, especially when you don't like you're not a writer or, you know, you need to have a devotion to be a writer. And honestly, it's not that hard to just do it, to just come up with some stuff. But you have to make it real and interesting. But you also got to feel it because if you don't feel it, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, then it's really just going to be, you know, sucky. But all the people that like go to like a lot of people go to school for animating or go to school for writing and then they end up, you know, doing professional work and what do you think they're doing like they might love what they're doing but they're working for someone you know and so that's a little bit different like for people that are that are creatives because some people aren't necessarily creatives so much as they just like drawing they just like writing they don't really need to do it in an artistic fashion you know what i'm saying or they just train themselves and discipline themselves to go down that route to being a professional and operating in, in that specific way. You know what I'm saying? And so for me, it's been a struggle of artistry, but it's also, you know, that routine that I've been in, it, it really sucks when you get in a good routine and it's not worth it. And then you, you get thrown out of that and you get emotional. It's, it, it's an emotional struggle for me because I get really sad. I get really pissed off or, you know, I get really let down. And so for me, it's like, you gotta, it's sometimes people are, you know, they have struggles and they are not able to control themselves. And that's part of the problem. You need to be able to control yourself. And that's, that's a huge, huge part of it. You know, if you can control, like it's all right in front of you, everything that 
you know, you can do. You write the jokes, you make the show, you have a story, you have a backbone, you make it look good, beginning and to end. Keep on doing that. Keep on making the episodes, but also, you need to do it well. And it can be like a very tough struggle to get down 